Now I'm sure that many of you have heard of the Model O Pro Wireless by now. Some people have already started posting YouTube videos about it and what they think of it right now. It hasn't even been released yet, but here is my thoughts on it and it also compared to the Model um, O Wireless, the basically the original version compared to this one and maybe also the Model I. But I, um, I'll just read off some of this stuff to you. The Model O Pro Wireless, the Model O at peak performance, a gaming mouse beyond the event horizon. Once you've experienced it, there's no turning back. Redesigned uh, from the ground up with enhanced tooling. Wireless freedom at only 55 grams. Okay, that's why a lot of people would buy 55 grams. That's a really light mouse. Most mice are like 80 or so grams. If they're wireless, or maybe like like 70, 60 maybe. Maybe a little less. But most, most of those mice might be having like a honeycomb design or like some, they might be a little smaller. I would think though that this is a really light mouse. It has some really good uh, um, mouse feet. It has some uh, crispy switches rated at 80M clicks, glorious BAMF sensor, the same sensor as the Model O wireless, textured surfaces to improve grip. Okay. There was one problem I saw with the Model O that I didn't really mention in the video that much that I just made. Uh, it was basically, sometimes whenever you sweat, you may lose your grip a little bit on it. So you could just go and buy some grip tape or something like that maybe. I'm not sure I haven't bought any yet. But I think though that it's sometimes after playing for long periods of time you may start to like just run out of like or not run out of you would probably just start to sweat enough to the point where you might even like just lose the grip of your mouse maybe at certain points it is also a very nice looking mouse. My only problem is though that it doesn't come in the white and black version. Uh, the white or black version or maybe the glossy white or the glossy black but I haven't heard like amazing reviews on like the glossy colors. Apparently you can't do certain things with the glossy colors but I'm not sure. I haven't bought a glossy colored mouse so yeah. But Overall, I feel like the only two colors out of these three I would actually buy is either the blue or the red. I probably would not buy the yellow. The, it's not that the yellow looks ugly, I, I just don't like the colors for it. It doesn't look amazing to me. But yet again, it also feels like you're just kind of buying the same mouse though. Whenever I go and look at it as the Model O, just for a little bit less weight, maybe also a little bit of a smaller mouse, maybe. You can go and compare that to the Model O. I might compare it to the Model O in this video. And, oh my goodness, I forgot to mention, it costs $100. That's 20 more dollars than the Model O wireless. The Model O wireless is $80. You might find it at Micro Center for like 90 So, this may be worth it to you if, it w if you bought the other mouse for like 90 But, it's got, it feels like just basically a duplicate for a little less weight and a little more battery time just for a, just for an, like the same mouse. And it also looks to not have the RGB lights or the LED lights. I'm just gonna say RGB. You can correct me in the comments if you want. I really don't like it that it doesn't have the RGB lights. 
The only light I'm seeing is that little green light, which is probably telling you how much battery you have, or something along that. Or something along the lines of that, but... I really actually love the lights of the Molo wireless. That is one of the reasons why I actually got that mouse. It was really nice looking, and I really liked the way it looked. It was just an amazing mouse overall. And uh, it also comes with like basically the same wires as the Molo wireless. Like same wire as it. And then same um, chip for it. And then also like that little connector piece, I guess. I don't know what it's called, but something along those lines. Okay. Ascended cord USB-C, one extended dongle, and a wireless adapter. I'm guessing that that's the extended dongle or something like that. I don't love the look though of like the yellow mouses. I'm just gonna repeat that probably, but it. I just don't like the color of that. Probably my favorite out of all these is gonna have to go to the blue one. Though once again, this does feel like a copy to the Model O. Just without lighting and whatever and all those nice little touches. Like, just look at these pictures. Do you think that these look really nice? Well, now I'm going to move on to the Model O wireless. Okay, I'm going to get zoomed out of there. Look at this. Look at this mouse. The RGB. Look at that, that looks so beautiful. The blue to the pink, you can maybe even have red and green in there. You can change the colors. It looks so amazing. And it's all for 80 bucks, you can get the Model O Minus. You can't get that with the Model O Pro. You can also get the black and white colors. You can choose white. I personally like the black one, so I'm just probably gonna show you pictures of pictures of a black one but let's all be honest with that other mouse you do not get this sick of a picture look at that picture look at that sick looking keyboard in the background and then you just have the model o wireless mouse it, it just looks amazing with like that art style or not art style the coloring for the rgb it really just fits the whole scene but then with the other one, I, I doubt you're actually going to have like a whole entire computer system, like all based on yellow. Unless like you have a whole entire Pikachu PC or something, or you've decorated your PS4 or PS5 or other gaming system to have Pikachu or whatever, or yellow on it, or you painted it yellow or something. Is just... It has 71 hours of battery life. That's more than enough for me. That's way more than enough. Six programmable buttons. I'm pretty sure that the other one has six programmable buttons also. It has the honeycomb design for strength and whatever. It does... Uh, it's actually a very strong mouse. Those who say that it doesn't feel strong, they're wrong. <laughs> I know that rhymed. But it's a very, very sturdy mouse. I don't care what people say, it is very sturdy. You're not gonna break unless you are literally trying to break it. Like, literally trying. There's no way that you can break it on your own, or at least I doubt it. And, uh, like, see, here's the difference between the Model O and the Model O minus here. Just four grams. Though, as you can tell, it is a way big difference, though. You can see the DPI settings. 400 yellow, 800 blue, six, or 600, 1600 red, and 3200 green. I've tested these. They're all good. <clears throat> Except the last one, if you're playing, like with the last two in Minecraft. Trust me, don't play with the last two. Especially the last one. Maybe the la maybe the third one if you're really good. But the last one, if you somehow play with that, 
You deserve a reward or something because I cannot do that. Okay, it does have LED without software. Okay, a whole bunch of different colors. It looks amazing overall. The mouse is way worth it. I don't think I'm gonna compare it to the Model I, but I, I think that, honestly, you should probably just stick to the Model O um, wireless. I doubt that you actually would need the Model O Pro. It's not as good uh, is what it seems, uh, or it may be a little better, but it's just for a um, couple of, it's for like 20 grams, or it's for like 55 grams or so. That's not much, not 20 grams. I don't know why I said 20 grams, but I feel like that isn't that much uh, of a difference. It's a really light mouse. It's worth a whole bunch, and I would just say, though, that you should stick to the Mall O um, wireless until you get more information about the Model O Pro wireless mouse, because to me, it just seems like it's not going to be as good as, or it might be a little better, but it's not worth 20 dollars in my opinion i doubt that it's actually worth like twenty dollars or at least not in my opinion but it's whatever you guys think so it's up to you in the end it's not my money so you can choose whatever you want but i would just say hold off on buying that mouse until you hear more reviews on it and probably just get the model of wireless it's an amazing mouse overall you will not have uh, many problems with it. Just trust me. It's an amazing mouse. It's way worth the $80 that you spend. And it's going to get you way farther also than like a $10 mouse. So don't buy a $10 mouse. I'm just saying. Probably won't be that good. It won't last you that long. But I would just say it's way worth it. It's way more worth it to buy the Model O Wireless is what it seems like to be to me unless you really like light mice but that's all i'm gonna say for this episode this was all just my opinion so i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, don't forget to like and comment and maybe subscribe if you enjoyed the video or you enjoy my content so have a amazing day bye